Hello, I'm Mike with Bear Ironworks, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, rock screens, grizzlies, dirt scalpers, rock scalpers, whatever you want to call it. Different people call it different things throughout the world. And uh, this is our Papa Bear, and we built this super heavy duty. You could throw about any kind of rock you want at it, three or four foot diameter boulders. This is two inch solid square. This rails here. These are spaced at five inches. We can space it at whatever you want. We can also put a removable uh, abrasive resistance screen on it. And uh, it takes about five to 10 minutes to take on and off. And uh, anyways, this is our big one. It's uh, about eight foot tall, eight and a half foot tall. I think this is maybe 10 foot wide. The customer wanted a 10, but we can go eight by 14. And uh, we can even build them heavier than this if you want, but uh, this one's going to stand up to about anything out there. I want to show you our other our sizes over here. This one is what started it all. We started making uh, the small ones to fit in the back of a pickup. This is our cup, and this will actually fit in the back of a half ton uh, short bed pickup. And you can haul around from job site to job site, perfect for skid steers and small loaders. And of course we got our mama bear size and it is mainly for uh, loader backhoes or mid-size loaders and whatnot and our bigger loaders if you want and we can put these uh, rails at any spacing you want also we can put the, the finer screens on here from a quarter inch to two inch and so i'd like to take you inside and i'm going to show you how we uh, come about building these rock screens we're back inside our manufacturing shop here and I wanted to go over a few things with you and how we developed this. Uh, I've worked with my dad since I was a little kid uh, working in uh, rock and dirt and whatnot. And he was a contractor here in the Rocky Mountains and that's where we built it, is in Grand Junction, Colorado. My son has also helped uh, develop the, the way we build these things. And um, anyways, I've, I'm really the one that kind of developed it. I went to welding school and we was always trying to screen rock and I, seen a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of mistakes and I see a lot of my competition making mistakes. And I'm gonna show you why we came up the way we build them. So a lot of people will use uh, the oil filled uh, drill still, we'll call it, or line pipe or whatever. And it's just a hollow pipe. And usually what happens, it'll bend. You can't get a weld in here. You have a small area of contact, so the impact of rocks coming down, it just doesn't let this piece of pipe uh, hang in there very tough at all. And also that gets magnetized and it's hard to weld actually. So we don't really like that one. A lot of people use I-beam just because it's big. And I-beam, what happens with it, yeah, you can get your welds and yeah, it has a lot of room for contact, but what ends up happening is these flanges start bending down after a while and it, then you don't have the size of rock that you intended. And then that falls apart. Plus they're super heavy and it just don't work that well. I see a lot of people uh, putting uh, box tubing on the corners and trying to use it as a screen. Well, there's a few problems here. Their contact point is very small. They want to tip over. The amount of uh, rock when it comes down here wants to hang up in here. So it's kind of funneling down this way and funneling down this one doesn't want to roll completely off the screen. So, and plus the fact these are hollow and, and they'll end up bending and breaking. They do end up bending and breaking. We've been copied by China on ours and they use a box tubing that's hollow, super hollow, and that bends up right away. Needless to say, that just doesn't work either. Then I see the angle iron method, uh, people using the angle iron. What happens here is you got a small area of contact and small area to weld and then this ends up caving in like this or bending and breaking and also the rocks hang up in here pretty bad. So, so through a lot of trial and error for probably close to 30 years, we come up with a solid square stock. Pretty simple. It's a nice neat looking uh, grizzly as you've seen in the before outside. And I can show you the uh, stock here that we use. Now, this here is basically our frame, is a two and a half inch box tube. This is our one inch solid square, hot roll. 
and it holds up great. Uh, we've got guys out there that's had these Grizzlies for three and four years, and they're throwing 18 inch and 24 inch uh, Colorado River rock at it. And if you've ever been around the Colorado River, you know that rock is about as tough as it gets. And uh, these Grizzlies are holding up like the day we give them to them, except for the paint. Um, now, if you want to go a little heavier duty and you think you're really going to be rough with this thing, we can go with the inch and a half. And, and we can put that on the mama bears or the papa bears. And we've even put it on the cubs too, if that's what you want. But, and this is going to hold up to about anything. But then if you really want to get severe and you want to start throwing some three and four foot diameter rocks, we got the two inch solid square on a heavier box tubing. And uh, this stuff is going to hold up. We'll drive a track over top of this or a dozer if you want it, but it ain't going to, it ain't going to hang out uh, any rocks or anything. It's just going to hang in there and uh, work for you for a long time. Well, before I say goodbye, I would like to say a few things about our products. Um, we have a very small uh, portion of the grizzly market and the reason for that is is China is importing these things like crazy. They're very poorly made. They're put together. They come in kits. You bolt them together. They have adjustable screens. I think one of our competitors actually invented that. But uh, at the same time, they're, they're putting on American uh, type names so you can't tell that they're from China, but be aware that what you're buying is from China. Our products are made here in the United States and uh, by Americans, and also we use American iron. So just be aware of what you're buying out there. They, they've stole our design and, and uh, they use hollow iron, which would probably last one day, and ours will last 10 to 15 years the way they're built. So just a word of caution there when you're buying a Grizzly. And also we make a lot of other products. This here is our bedding box that we, we've developed. It's, this is a seven cubic yard bedding box. And uh, we're going to have other products come online, and so be, be watching for our videos and uh, tips and tricks on how to use our uh, products. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.